Happiness. Uh, happiness is not something that you buy. It's something that you do. Now, what does that mean? <clears throat> well, you, you can buy something and get a little bit of an elation. And you can even feel like maybe you actually experience a little happiness. But it's a fleeting moment. <clears throat> and it's artificially driven and actually manufactured by your perception of what you thought was a doing action. Now, a doing action or something that is actually uh, an action of happiness is a, is a process of the things that you do to generate results and a consequence uh, to, uh, to give you that actual real sense of happiness. And that actually lasts a lot longer than an artificially generated uh, purchasing or receiving a gift to some degree. And I'm not saying that, you know, when someone gives you something, you're not going to be excited or happy about it, but it doesn't last very long, as we know, especially people who are uh, collectors. So let's just take that for example. Um, now, I, I do have, uh, you know, a handful of knives, and as we know, and, uh, and you may too, because you're in this kind of interest of, of this field as well. Now, I will be honest with you, though, after a few weeks after purchasing a new knife, I start thinking about getting another knife. And a lot of, you know, rational people that, well, <laughs> and I think we're not rational, but a lot of people that are not in the hobby, they don't understand that. They're like, well, you just bought a knife recently. Why do you need another one? Uh, well, um, I guess it's the same thing for people who, uh, as their hobby, they, they like to try out different coffees or teas. You would think that, well, coffee or tea is just coffee or tea. And they see you as saying, well, a knife is just a knife. And you go, no, it's not. Uh, there's different kind of styles and form factors and all kind of different uses for different kind of knives. And they would say, well, it's the same thing with our tea and our coffee. Uh, there's different flavors and uh, robust types of aromas and, uh, and textures that we can taste. And they would go on and on. And so what is the, uh, the point here? The point is that uh, we, uh, as our search for uh, our happiness, uh, sometimes get a little stuck on stuff. And that stuff is actually uh, keeping us and actually holding us down from being actually happy. Because it, it, it doesn't let us become free. It, it doesn't uh, f allow us to be as free to do those actions that are more genuine to create more longer term happiness. And this is what we see though, is that you will never get enough stuff. Just like you'll never have enough money. You'll never have anything enough. Because the stuff isn't the actual reason why we get happy. It's the actual doing of something. Like for example, uh, that's why people are just, they get so excited when they've carried their child, like a mother has carried their child for nine months and they get to give birth to it. And uh, this is a part of them. And they, 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 you know that they put a lot of effort and they went through a lot of pain and suffering off and on, or at least discomfort at least. Um, and they had that child and they had this connection with their child. And there, there was a lot of like work, just like if you went to college and you got your degree, at least in most places, uh, you had to work pretty hard. Uh, you know, or like when you when you look at those, you know, high school diplomas being given out to those people, they, they, they worked for four years to get it, you know, <clears throat> same thing when you work real hard and, and you stayed up for five years to get that nice car, you really enjoy it more. You really look at it and you have much more uh, of a happiness level than you were if someone just gave you that car. And even though that car doesn't give you really happiness, it's a fleeing moment the doing, the action that built up to that, uh, that's enduring for quite a while. And the same thing about, you know, your, your morality and your views on yourself and others and being truthful about the events in the world, uh, that actually plays a large factor that's a cumulative effect that allows us to be who we are in truth. And so when we talk about prepping and we talk about happiness, being truthful and just sometimes a little blunt and people don't like it sometimes but I, I do see a lot of my comments that people like the bluntness and I appreciate your comments that this is the reason why we excel and we actually have a better chance to survive and we actually are able to help others and we're not selfish because we see things as they are we actually talk about them we're not too afraid to do that and we actually do something about them that doing something about it like, you know, building up a knowledge or skills or resources as a prepper, survivalist, bushcrafter, or outdoors person is the reason why we have a little bit more joy than some other people that are a little bit more oblivious and their, their awareness of the surroundings are a little bit lower, if not a lot lower, are people who don't question the facts in their world. They have, a, a, in my opinion, a lower threshold for joy. 
And, uh, and sometimes though, with this burden of having the awareness, you also are burdened with the realities of how things really are. And it can be very disheartening and sad, but you also have on the upside, the ability to have a greater capacity to express and to feel and to share uh, the joy and the love that goes on in your life. So happiness, once again, is something that we do, not something we can acquire or buy. And I hope this is a helpful, like a little tutorial uh, or just something that, you know, you can kind of just think about that when you're constantly searching and searching in your life for something, then you know there's a void in your life. And that void is because you're trying to fill it with stuff, 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 or distractions. <clears throat> and those things are not necessary or needed. What you really need are actions, things that you need to do yourself to generate your own happiness, your own sense of completion, your own sense of worthiness and respect. And that comes from actual hard work. And there is nothing else that can replace it. Uh, those actions have to be enduring and have to have focus and per, you know, perseverance. And you don't see that very much anymore. And I think that it, when you go back to looking at those basic building blocks of what makes us us. As always, you guys take care.